Imagine being here, here, or here, and watching the Raiders win the Super Bowl from the comforts of your Airstream with a plate of microwave nachos and your thermostat maintained at a comfortable 70 degrees. Heck, stay for two weeks out there and celebrate the dub if you want. <laughs> with Airstream's most recent electrifying announcement, the only unrealistic thing about this fantasy is the Raiders actually winning the Super Bowl. Silver and black. Lead it. Woo! What is up, you guys? It's Lauren and Sam, the trailer couple, dedicated to that simple life and it is another simply electric day to live in the burrito. The E-Stream. So is this a future for Airstreams and RVers alike? Airstream and their manufacturer Thor Industries recently revealed that they have plans to make an all electric Airstream. So what does this transition to all electric capabilities mean for Airstream and the RV community? How does this affect the price? When will these bad boys be released? What limitations do they have? And should you be concerned if you just bought an Airstream? Let's dive into it. We'll answer all these questions and more and probably have some strong opinions along the way. The plan with this travel trailer is to create an experience as Sam touched on that is truly electrified. Now, many people are focusing on the fact that you can back up this trailer with the use of your smartphone, which is amazing. And we will touch on that, but there are definitely some other features that we want to share with you all that we think are just as important. I mean, fully equipped with enhanced solar capabilities around 900 Watts and a battery that is able to supply all house amenities. It is now easier than ever before to go off the grid with comfort. The battery pack found in this E-Stream model can provide 30 times more power than the new lithium ion batteries found in Airstreams today. Now that is a lot of juice. This will make it possible to boondock and have air conditioning. Generators could honestly become a thing of the past. Now that is revolutionary. Pretty cool. So this has been a hot topic for Lauren and I for years, and we've I brought it up many, many times to Lauren, and every single time we've decided that a upgraded solar setup would be much too tricky and much too expensive, and the end product wouldn't even allow us to use our air conditioner on it anyway. So let's touch on the wow factor of this trailer. This electric trailer will have the option to back up into any space using just the touch of a button on any of your smart devices. Now this means that you can back the trailer up to a tow vehicle when hitching up. This means you can even navigate the trailer into a super tight camping spot, which for anyone who has backed up a trailer, you understand just how amazing this feature actually is. Just think how many marriages are gonna be saved by this moving forward. What am I looking at? <laughs> I don't know. On top of all of this, this trailer also features a high voltage electric drivetrain, which powers the wheels as you tow, making the tow vehicle a little bit more efficient and overall just a more efficient towing experience. Essentially, the trailer is designed to play follow the leader with your tow vehicle. And this electric vehicle technology will also help to stabilize the trailer as you tow, making your need for weight distribution hitches less. So despite pretty heavy domestic and international support for the transition to electric vehicles, there are still a lot of roadblocks along the way. One being the lack of infrastructure and reliable charging ports through many areas. Although still affected, we would like to think that maybe travel trailers are a little bit less affected by this, unless they're also being towed by an electric vehicle. Because at least these trailers have the ability to function off solar. Airstream does plan to use a digital app to help you to locate charging stations when you're on the road and to just overall help make your trip planning a little bit more easier. This app will also be able to monitor all the RV systems entirely on the app with instant diagnostics in case something does go wrong, which is really cool. So the concept trailer that was released is actually very aerodynamic. It's even more aerodynamic than previous models, which is saying a lot because Airstreams are very aerodynamic. I said that word three times in that sentence. With a more refined profile, I think they said that it was gonna be like, what, eight? Eight inches yeah, narrower? Yeah, it was gonna be eight inches more narrow. It's a hard word. Narrow, narrower. Eight inches more narrow, which was, according to a blog written by Airstream, going to reduce the drag by 20%. That's like my grade in OCHEM. <laughs> That's not even a joke. It's not even a joke. That's my college OCHEM grade. So you just know people are gonna be super thrilled about less space. Leave it up to Airstream to spin it in a way to make losing eight inches of interior space sound good. <laughs> At Airstream, they truly believe that this electric trailer is the future of RVing, which makes us think that maybe a production date is coming sooner rather than later. So it appears that competitors are towing the line, which is awesome. There are multiple different brands that are releasing vans, travel trailers, Heck, motorhomes may be next. Winnebago revealed its first all-electric camper van at the RV Super Show in Florida this past year, and Mercedes-Benz has also debuted an emission-free RV from the looks of it. It's important to remember that this is still an emerging technology, so there will absolutely be hiccups along the way. However, it's really hard not to get excited about something that can be such a benefit for functionality 
and environmentally friendly for the world as a whole. So what does this all mean for Airstream? Both Sam and I can agree that this is one small step forward for Airstream, but one giant step forward for RVing kind. Based off of trends that we've seen in the auto industry, we are slowly moving towards a world where there's less combustion of fossil fuels. Change is coming. It's when, not if. So let's rip off the band-aid and let's talk about money. So the price point for the E-Stream will undoubtedly be higher than what traditional Airstreams are going for today, which is already a lot of money. But realistically, they probably should cost more because if you look at what it would cost to put an insanely high capability solar system on your Airstream today, that's tens of thousands of dollars. So we expect there to be an increase at that price point, but from everything that we've heard from the CEO of Thor Industries, and Airstream, they said that they would be reasonable and what that may look like is up for interpretation. <laughs> Despite their hefty price tag and minimal track record, there was still a huge demand for innovation in the auto industry and we expect nothing less than the RV industry. So with some competition in the space from brands like Winnebago, we hope that there's some economical options for these trailers within the near future. But for now, if you see yourself writing a check once these E-Streams hit production, you better start saving now or yesterday so now the question is if you just bought a 2022 airstream did you just make a huge mistake i would say no i mean you may have a little bit of fomo when you see your electric counterparts driving down the road but i, I honestly wouldn't lose any sleep over it first off the e-stream is likely years from hitting production even once they do hit production i don't think you'll see a huge drop off in those old vintage trailers or even some of those newer traditional trailers the best comparison that i can make to this is the fact that my dad has a 1956 chevy truck do you think he's at all concerned about the fact that they're making more electric vehicles no no absolutely not. absolutely not so if you buy quality and you buy things that last a long long time a lot of this stuff is bigger than the innovation along the way so Laura and I both agree that there's always going to be a market for those older vintage trailers if you are having some serious FOMO and you want to be a part of the fun I guess you can always buy an electric truck and pull your Airstream with it there you go everyone wins while there's still a lot to learn about these Eastream trailers, Airstream and Thor Industries alike are taking a huge step into the future and we are super stoked to see it happen. If you're interested in learning more about the Eastream trailer concept, go ahead and check out the blog that Airstream wrote. We will drop it in the description below. If you have any comments about what you all think the future looks like, maybe you have comments about the Eastream trailer, maybe you've looked into them yourself, go ahead and drop them below. Sam and I are always open to feedback and we love having conversations with you all about the topics you speak on in these videos. Probably time to wrap it up because the rain is starting to fall and it's starting to become a little bit noisy on that aluminum roof. So let's... <laughs> Here is to a more electrified way of living for all of us. Until next time, you guys, happy trails. Happy trails. It's electric. Did you ever do that at high school dances? No, or middle I school? wasn't invited, so. Did middle school dances? Thank you for bringing that up. Now they know. <laughs>